Number two, lesson 2-4, complex numbers and operations. Um, we will talk about the, com the complex conjugates and um, look at the next example. Complex conjugates are complex numbers with equivalent real parts and opposite imaginary parts. So we looked at the, com the complex numbers in the last examples, right? So, and now we have complex conjugates where um, the complex numbers are going to be multiplied. They're binomials that they um, multiply to get a real number. So in the previous example, we looked at some cases where the product is the real number, right? When multiplying complex numbers. So um, sometimes we want to figure out what would be the complex conjugate in order to make the answer real number for a complex number, okay? So by definition, remember that complex conjugates are complex numbers with equivalent real parts and op opposite imaginary parts, and those will um, bring the product to be a real number. Let's look at example four, simplify a quotient with complex numbers. How can you write the quotient 10 over 2i in the form a plus bi? When the denominator has an imaginary component, um, you have to rationalize the denominator because you have to um, you have to be able to um, make sense of what kind of fractions you have, and it's easier to deal with fractions when you have an imaginary number in the numerator rather than in the denominator. It's it's the same idea with um, the square roots, right? You have to rationalize the denominator when you have a square root in the in the denominator. So the denominator has an imaginary component here, um, and so we're we're going to multiply the conjugate. By definition, what is a conjugate? They're complex numbers with equivalent real parts. So a is the same, but then b and b i would be the same, but the signs are different. Okay, so the complex conjugate for 2i here, 2 minus i, would be 2 plus i. So complex conjugate would be 2 plus i. And so in order to, in order to multiply 1, we want to multiply the complex conjugate over complex conjugate so that we're not changing the fraction, but we're simplifying it. So 10 over 2 minus i times 2, I, 2 plus i over 2 plus i would give us a real number in the denominator. So 10 times 2 um, plus 10 times i, and then 2 times 2 times 2 and plus 2 times i, um, and minus i times 2, um, and, then, and then plus i squared plus negative i squared, and then you simplify everything to get 4 plus 2i. And now we don't have a fraction where we have complex number in the denominator, but we have a nice little complex number without a fraction. So this is much simple than the fraction we used to have, right?